Hi friends, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Ashish here and today I'll be covering a classic Sudoku on our channel. So this Sudoku is constructed by Astral Sky and before going to the Sudoku I would highly recommend you to please subscribe to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles if you haven't done so. It will really motivate us to cover videos on a regular basis and if at all you have a request for any Sudoku variant or a puzzle genre, you can let us know in the comment below and we will surely make a video on it. And uh, coming back to this Sudoku, so this is the first uh, ever Sudoku uh, that we are I'm covering on this channel by Astral Sky. So let's see if you are able to crack this Sudoku or not, right? The theme looks good. There is a triangle here, a pyramid shaped. Uh, one more here and then you have four corners with three given C at each corner, right? So let's see if you are able to crack this Sudoku or not. So mm, where do I start this with? Yeah, I have six seven here, so both six seven would have to be here, which means these cells are two eight and nine. Again, I don't want to uh, switch on the conflict checker on that again. That's just for checking at the end if I'm right or wrong. Okay, so nine would have to be here. Hmm, this eight would have to be in one of these two cells. You have any eights uh, there? No, eight would have to be in one of these two cells. Oh, there is an eight here as well, so that has to be in one of these two cells. So that's a nice way to start with an X-wing. Actually, didn't expect that eights won't be in any of these cells. Let us uh, mark that with the yellow color here, green color here. There'll be no eights in these cells because eight has to be in one of these two cells and one of these two cells. So you have an X-wing of eight. If you have an 8 here, 8 would have to be here. If you have an 8 here, 8 would have to be here. Or vice versa, uh, within these two rows, right? Okay, that's nice here. 2 cannot be here. 2 cannot be here. 2 cannot be here. So this cell is a 2 here. One three four and five one five. This is three four three four one five five one three four one three and five. Come on, anything else? Oh, I see the same logic here with the nines. That's nice. That's a really good way to uh, start the Sudoku. I think so. There has to be something with these because nine would have to be in one of these two cells in this column. And in this column 9 would have to be in one of these two cells. So again, you form an X-wing here, which means if 9 is here, 9 would have to be here. Or if 9 is here, 9 would have to be here. And in any case, none of these cells can be 9. That can be marked using an yellow color here. So yellow colors cannot be 9, green colors cannot be 8. And uh, the ones with both of these colors cannot be both 8 and 9, right? Okay, that's a nice uh, logic here. Let us mark these cells now. If they are not 8 and 9, what could this be? Right? So, 9, 8, 7, 6. You can have 5, 4, 3 and 1. No, 5, 4, 3, 4 and 5. Nothing more. This one is also not possible. Let us see here. 4, uh, 4 and 5 is possible. Right? Uh, 6 is not possible. 7 is possible. And 8 and 9 is not possible. Okay. Uh, I thought of by value cells, but you have an extra... Uh, digit candidate in it and this is you have three values in those cells okay anything else we can do with one cannot be here oh this cell can only be six or a seven same way you have anything with this can have one right yeah three four five six one seven and nine right one and seven nine is also here that is nice same way here you can have one uh three 
that's nice uh, here you can have uh, one two three four five six oh something with the y wing here three six six seven and three seven i need no is that an exchange that seems to be an xy chain i think so one seven one three three six six seven that is an xy chain okay and which means wait uh am i interpreting correct uh one should one would have to be in one of these two cells three would have to be in one of these two cells six would have to be in one of these two cells or one will have and seven would have to be in one of these two cells because what i am assuming is if you don't have seven in one of these two cells this would be six this would be one that gives you three in both of these cells excellent that's an xy chain here excellent xy chain i would say because now three six would have to be in one of these two cells if you have six if you don't have six in one of these two cells this is seven this is three and both of these would be one same way three would have to be in one of these two cells seven one would have to be in one of these two cells and seven would have to be in one of these two cells that is excellent that is excellent uh does that eliminate anything here okay you have three would have to be in one of these two cells so this gets eliminated here that gives you a one five pair here so this cell cannot be a one you have a three four pair now i'll have to mark these cells to make sure that three isn't in any of these cells so one uh 2 3 6 and 9 3 is not possible 2 6 and 9 right one three five and nine three is not possible one five and nine am i right okay in these cells 1 2 okay 3 6 8 so 6 is not possible 3 and 8 right you can have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 is not possible because 6 would have to be in one of these two cells that we have already reduced 7 8 and 9 okay same with this cell 1 2 3 you can have 4 5 6 7 and 8 and 6 can be eliminated but you do already have 6 eliminated here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 7 is not possible 5 6 and 9 here because 7 would have to be in one of these two cells again uh 1 5 6 7 and 9 5 1 1 6 7 and 9 7 is not possible 1 6 and 9 Six is also not possible. One and nine. Wow. Okay. So one, three, seven and eight. Three. One is not possible. Three, seven and eight. Because one would have to be in one of these two cells, and this cell at the last. So one, two, three, four, eight. Yeah, three, four and eight. That seems excellent, guys. Ah, uh, come on. Do we get something here? I'm not getting anything here. I'm not getting anything here, guys. Come on. One five one nine and five nine. I could, if I could eliminate one from this cell, there's an uh, uh, Y wing that eliminates five from this cell. But for that, I need to eliminate one from this cell. Uh, come on, come on, guys. There has to be something here. Mm. 
Come on, come on. Okay, 9 cannot be in any of these two cells, right? Because it's a X wing of 9 here, which means 9 would have to be in one of these two cells. So you have a pointing of 9 here. So you cannot have 1, 2, 5, 6 and 9 in any of these two cells. So 3, 4, 7 and 8. Those, this would have to be 4, 7 and 8. 3, 7 and 8, right? Come on. Oh, there is a different uh, way. You have a one five, one nine. If there is a one here. Both of these cannot be 1. 1 has to be in one of these two cells. So this would be 1. And this also would be 1. So both of these cells would be 1 if there is a 1 here. I could eliminate 1 from this cell. You have a 1, 5, 1, 9 and 5, 9. And that eliminates 5 from this cell. That is excellent. That is excellent. That is amazing logic, guys. Really amazing logic. There is any other way to see this. Amazing. Come on guys, I could have done that earlier. You have an X-wing of 1 here. So 1 would have to be in one of these two cells. 1 would have to be in one of these two cells. Right? Because of the 1, 5 pair. And that we have already deduced the XY chain that 1 has to be in one of these two cells. You have an X-wing of 1 here. And that eliminates 1 from both of these cells. Wow guys. Direct elimination. Direct elimination. What we thought of is an X, a Y wing here, but that is an X wing here. So that gives you a 9 year and a 5 year. And what I thought was, once you eliminate 1 from this cell, you have 1, 5, 1, 9 and 5, 9. That eliminates 5 from this cell. You get a 1, 5, 3, 1 and 9 and 5. 9 and, uh, yeah, 9 and 5. There are two ways to uh, solve this logic. I'll go with uh, my way, my favorite way. Of eliminating 1 from this cell and then 5 from this cell you get a 1, 5, 1, 3, 9 and a 5 here. Amazing. Seriously amazing guys. That gives you a 6 here and that gives you a 7 here. And that eliminates uh, 7 from these cells. No, sorry. You got a 4, 8 pair here that gives you a 5. Eliminate 6 from this cell. Uh, these two cells are 2 and 9. Uh, this would have to be a 6. 1, 3, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 9. This now has to be a 9 here. That gives you a 9 here because of the Y wing here. Right? Uh, this is 3, 8, 3, 7 and 8 gives you a 3, 8 here. 3 and 5 gives you a 4 here. Sorry. And that gives you an 8 here. That gives you a 1 here and an 8 here and an 8 here. That gives you 4 and an 8 here. That gives you 3. 2 and a 9 here. That gives you 2. 6 and 5. So this is 6. That is 5. That is 7. That is 6. Eight gives you a three here, seven here, one and a four. So this is one, that is four, that is three, that is four. And three and nine, so that is nine, that is three. That gives you a nine and a seven here. Amazing. What an amazing piece of logic that was. A really amazing pseudopo. These two cells are one and four in any order, right? And these two cells are two and four in any order. That four gives you a two. And a 4 here that gives you 8 and a 2 here that gives you 1 and a 4 here. That gives you 1, 5 and 8 right. So this is 5 that is 8, 
that it gives you an 8 here uh, that gives you 5 and 6 in any order that gives you 6 here 3 and 7 in any order that gives you 3 here and uh, 2 and 7 in any order so 2 and 7 am I right here again come on conflict checker is on it seems to be right let me just uh, why is in the conflict checker working let me give you a 2 here ok 7 so the conflict checker is working I am sure uh, we have done right till now but uh, we didn't get the congratulation message here but still that was an excellent Sirocco really uh, I didn't think so that uh, the X-Wings at the first were really required to complete this Sudoku because without which we could find the XY chain and then we eliminated a few possibilities and then we got an X-Wing here again that was an amazing piece of logic amazing piece of Sudoku thanks a lot Astral Sky for such a wonderful Sudoku it was uh, really really enjoying I hope you all enjoyed this video do like and comment if you want us to solve any other Sudoku variant or a puzzle genre. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.